Hey everybody, I'm Mitch and welcome to the Legendary Galaxy. My next project, I've decided to do an arcade machine, a full cabinet, and I'm going to put it uh, right here on the wall. I'm going to have to move some things around, but I don't want it to be like any, just a regular looking cabinet. I want it to look like it's from the Star Wars universe. So here's my attempt. I don't have very much woodworking skills, but I've got some few tips from friends and family, so let's try this out. So to start off, I needed some arcade cabinet plans, and I found some online, of course, um, on Etsy. And uh, they're around $10. I can put, I'll put the link down below. But this is a wall mount type arcade, and just to save some room in my Star Wars room, I'm, I'm running out of wall space, so uh, I think it was the best option for me. So now that I had the plans that I wanted, I made some concept art so I could see where things went and what I really wanted to look like, how I wanted the paint to be. And then I printed out the plans on some paper and cut out some templates, knowing that I wasn't going to use the plans exactly as done, but they'd give me the shape. So I knew they had t little tabs on them and I wasn't going to be able to use them as is. Time for a cutting montage. We use the table saw to make the long cuts and then we use this jigsaw to make those curved cuts and then finished off with using a drill to cut out the holes. Instead of screwing them together from the outside we used this jig and it just made little pocket holes and it worked really great. Here's the finished cabinet. It's looking great so far. And so I just did some sanding, filled in some holes on that plywood. And now I'm priming it just so I can prepare to paint it. So after it's dried, I come in with some chrome spray paint. And this is a technique I've used before on droids and other projects what to make it look weathered. Uh, I just take some of this chrome and go on random different spots for the cabinet. So then I just come in with a paintbrush and Colgate I've got from my dentist. And I am just painting little parts on top of the chrome spray paint that's been dry for at least a day and I'm making it so when I paint another coat on top it looks like it's chipped down to metal under there and you can see how I've just carefully painted different parts of this toothpaste where I want that chip look to be and it's kind of rough looking I've sprayed over this with a matte black and then I just kind of wipe it off and it's a little hard sometimes so I just get some water and then it just makes that cool chip look and you can see all over these little tiny chips of paint so now I'm gonna make the red stripe down and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm using the toothpaste on top of the chrome because that's where it would have worn through twice and then I'm just making little tiny parts where the red spray paint would have come off and you can see how that red stripe turned out with the chipping. So to make my arcade cabinet look like it was in the Star Wars universe, I wanted it to say arcade, but in Arabish, the Star Wars language. And so a friend of mine has a laser cutter and he said he'd be glad to help me out. So you can see I got a, some Arabish here. I designed this and then I have primed one side of it. And uh, yeah, it says arcade here. So now I'm just putting some of those pieces on that were laser cut with construction glue, some like fast binding construction glue. And those just go on right on the side, just little accent pieces to make it look cool. So to make my Star Wars cabinet look even more like it was in the Star Wars universe, I 3D printed some Greeblies I found on Etsy. Um, Greeblies are a term used in Star Wars to for pieces of junk that's glued or stuck on uh, items to make it look more techy, I guess. 
but uh, you can see this it's things like this or this they don't really do anything but they look like they might do something and then I glued on some of the greeblies with that same construction glue they just go right on little vents I'm putting on little buttons and I'm just kind of holding those on with clamps but these greeblies I'm putting on just stayed and here it is all weathered and I came back and also grimed it up a little bit with some black and gray paints so I messed up on the control panel and so I made another one redrilled some holes and priming it again so through that whole process And you can see here I have the control panel done and I'm just putting in these buttons. The buttons go in really easy. They just push in and then have a screw tightener on the back. And you can see I've put in the joysticks and all you do is take these wires and you plug them in to the button and then you plug them into this little control board and it's really quite simple. You just kind of make sure you put the same button on the left side as you did the right. And then the joystick just plugs into that same control panel and it's all done. It's really quite a simple process. And then you can see there's a little USB port on that control panel and that just plugs in right to the little computer. So then I put the monitor into the cabinet and you can see I'm just kind of holding it in place with some Legos that happen to be the right size. And I'm just using mirror holders on the side and it worked perfectly. You can see the mirror holders all the way around it. So now I need to sound. So I'm just using little car speakers into the front and those just screw into place. And that gives me my sound for the arcade machine. So of course, with speakers, I need an amplifier for the speakers. And I'm just holding that into place with the command strip, just for ease. And then you can see, here it is all hooked up. I have a little Raspberry Pi computer here. That's what they're called. And the audio goes into the amp to the speakers and then the USB cables go into the controller. Then I have a little memory stick that holds games on it. So really easy setup. So here I'm just weathering a little greebly that covers up the hole where the power strip comes out of the bottom. The monitor, the Raspberry Pi, and the speakers amplifier plug into this. And I'm just covering the speaker holes with these grills I 3D printed and chromed up and made all Star Wars-y. And I screwed it into the wall and it's all mounted. So the last step is just putting on the joystick button control panel and that just hooks up through the USB. So you just plug it in right there. And then I just screw on that control panel with some regular like wood screws. But I have these cover up tabs so you can't really see the screw. So it just finishes it off really nice. And then the last step is to put on the antenna. And weather that antenna a little. I like to use silver sharpie markers to give that weathered look just like on the cabinet works really well so here it is all working i need to configure the input here and uh, then restart it and uh, also i need to turn on the wi-fi so i can upload a custom startup screen that i made so let me set that up and I'll show you the restart. So it's restarting and hopefully my startup video comes on. Yes. And 
then it goes right into the game collection. So this is awesome. So this turned out exactly like I wanted it to. It's so cool. I'm able to play these old retro video games the way they're meant to be played with these big clinky buttons and it is really awesome. Um, thanks to my friends who helped me do some woodworking, some laser cutting, and even setting up the Raspberry Pi. Join me again on the next episode of The Legendary Galaxy. Thanks for watching, everyone.